Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dana and this is my dog Marley. And we've been out here for a couple days camping. I've been filming for a few projects. Um, as some of you guys might not know, I do a lot of outdoor type reviews. And so I spend the majority of my time in the mountains filming. And lately I've been using the Cyclone Tents 5M Bell Tent. Um, this is outfitted with a stove jack. I do have a stove in here. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this tent. I'm going to go over some tips that I can hopefully help you guys, you know, get a little more confidence in setting this up. And some ideas that you guys can use if you're planning on using this for your family. Um, there's a lot of things that I found just using it that I haven't really heard before and I think are really important um, to be able to give some feedback to you guys to better your experience. Initially when I was looking at bell tents I was kind of confused on the sizes and so I ended up reaching out directly to Cyclone Tents which I can definitely recommend you guys to do um, if you have questions like this um, or if you guys haven't found the answer in this video. Um, you know I knew I was going to be using it you know with myself and my dog and I also knew uh, my family would be coming with me frequently and so I kind of wanted to find a tent that was a good balance in size you know between the two I didn't want something too small something too big and you know a lot of times if you're by yourself um, you definitely don't want something too big and so the 5m was a good balance that was what they recommended to me and that's what's worked out really well um, you guys will see in this video, you know, I've used it with a buddy of mine. We went on a, a two-day hunting trip, and then I was out for a good couple days with my family. And so you guys will kind of see how I set it up a little bit, bit differently inside, and hopefully that'll give you guys some ideas on what might work for you. <laughs> The Cyclone Tanks Outbacker 5M comes in at 80 pounds. It's 16 feet in diameter and it's just over 9 feet tall. It has two primary poles and most of this time is going to be spent staking out the 28 guy out points. But with some practice this tent can be set up by one person in just about 15 minutes. So I went ahead and installed the 380 model Work Tough stove. I think this is going to work really well for us. Um, this has a very nice floor in it. Um, it's got uh, window vents that you can open. You know, the front door has mesh, you know, to keep the bugs out. Um, and this is a very good sized tent for, you know, a family. Um, it easily sleeps, you know, two people very, very comfortably, you know, with the stove, with a table. Um, so this is going to work really well for my wife and I and my daughter and of course Marley. So there's plenty of space. Um, we've got this set up right now. I've got my air bed in here which I normally wouldn't use um, but the reason that I brought it is because I wanted to see how it fit in here because this is what we're going to be using um, on future trips you know with my family. And then Terry has a uh, cot set up in here 
And so I kind of just wanted to put some stuff in here, get a feel for it. And so far, I'm extremely impressed. The quality of this is really unlike anything I've seen. So I'm anxious to get a night spent in it, see how it works. Later, we're gonna fire up the stove. All the zippers on this tent are extremely durable and they are manufactured by a company called YKK. So the next thing we'll talk about is ventilation. This model has four windows that you can unzip. It's got bug mesh here. And during the day, we like to unzip them. And I'll leave the front of the tent open. And you just get some really nice airflow in here, especially you know if it's warmer outside. It's just nice to be able to hang out here. You can feel the breeze coming in. And it also has four vents on the ceiling. It's definitely nice to have those vents up on top because you're not going to have a problem with condensation. Now I've never run into that issue in a larger tent. I know it's pretty common in smaller tents, um, but when you've got the stove running and it's extremely cold outside, um, it's definitely good to have some ventilation. They do have other models that have the floor that unzips and you can actually roll up the sides. And so during summer months, you know, during the day, you can roll this up and this is essentially going to be just a big shade. So you're definitely going to want to have some kind of lighting in your tent. Um, you know, for myself, I do a lot of filming and so I bring um, some industrial type lights. Um, but for the average person, you know, using this tent, you'd probably just want to at least get a lantern. So the center pole does have two um, points where you can hang a lantern. You could probably hang some solar lights, that sort of thing, which I think my wife and I are probably ultimately gonna do um, down the road here. Um, but it's just a nice, uh, you know, to have, have something to be able to hang a, a, a lantern. Um, because a lot of times we'll put the lantern down on the table and that's nice for here, but it really just doesn't light up the whole interior of the tent because this is a humongous tent. To give you guys an example, my wife and I have a queen size airbed set up in here and we've got it set up lengthwise facing the front door. We've got a work tough stove 380 model and we've got a table and we've got two chairs and we still have room to spare. There's plenty of room for firewood, there's plenty of floor space to be able to move around and put in you know, any extra gear that you might have. So this particular Outbacker, we have the stove jack. We primarily use this in winter time when it's cold. And so I, I needed something that I could use with a stove. Now this is a smaller stove. This is more of something that you'd use for a smaller tent, um, but it definitely works well. And the reason that I like it is because it's small enough and compact enough that it doesn't take up too much space in my vehicle. Um, because this tent rolled up in its back, you know, is fairly large and it weighs about 80 pounds. And so if I went with a bigger stove, um, you know, that's just a, a bit extra space that I'd have to have in my vehicle, which I drive a Jeep. And so it didn't seem um, like a very good option for me to go with a big, huge, bulky stove. Although this one will accommodate uh, a very large wood burning stove. Um, but one thing you need to be careful with is the floor. I've got a metal plate down here and that's in the event that I open this to put some wood in and some ashes fall out. Um, it's good to have some protection on the floor. Um, although that hasn't happened to me, um, I can see you know it being a problem for somebody that might not be very experienced using these stoves. 
using a stove, I definitely practice with it, you know, in your backyard. Get familiar with how the stoves work. Um, get familiar with how to turn them up and down and just get familiar with how efficiently they burn. And that's gonna really tell you how much wood you're gonna need uh, to bring in for a night of keeping you warm. So I made a few mistakes on purpose to give you guys some examples of improper way of pitching this. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit of a kink here. Now that doesn't seem like it'd be much of a problem, but if you did have some rain, um, you know, this isn't gonna bead water off. And so to cure that, I'm just gonna pull the stake out and I'm gonna pull this over and I want it in line with that seam. And you can see that that kind of pulled the slack out. And so I'm just gonna put this back in the ground. And that's a little better. So the cyclone tents do come with an extremely durable floor. They're very thick. They've got somewhat of a rubber coating um, that is waterproof and it is somewhat uh, held up pretty well to even you know some of the debris coming out of the stove. Um, it seems to be almost fire retardant but it does get extremely dirty so one thing that we found that's kind of helped is to use throw rugs. Um, we'll put a mat out in front of the tent that we can wipe our feet off on. And we also bring a broom with a dust pan, which, you know, we'll go around and you definitely want to, you know, sweep this out before you pack it up and put it back into the bag. And so that's definitely a tip that um, has really helped us. Most of your time spent setting this tent up is going to be just guying everything out. It does have 28 pretty burly stakes. And so I recommend a sledgehammer it's made it a lot easier for me especially if you're setting up on hard ground well guys i really hope you were able to learn more about this tent and hopefully i was able to give you guys some more confidence um, if you get out and use this or if you guys are thinking of purchasing it um, this is an excellent quality tent it's definitely something i can recommend it's worked out really well for marley and i as well as my family. Um, we're gonna be using this for years to come. And if you guys have any questions that I haven't answered, you know, feel free to reach out to Cyclone Tents directly. I'll leave a link in the description of this video that you guys can use to connect with them. Um, I really appreciate them, you know, being so supportive to the channel. It's really helped us. And uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. And I hope to bring you guys some more videos really soon.